right, guys, it is Blockchain coming at you with another technical analysis update. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Corey, a.k.a. Blockchain, and I am primarily an Elliott Wave trader in the crypto and traditional markets. Um, we are starting off on my website, blockchaintatrading.com. I want to highlight right here where it says get for free now is my number one trading strategy. Um, it is consistent, profitable, reliable, and Apple to any market. Click the little get for free now, and I'll actually send you a video, just a video demonstration of how to set it up and how to use it. And then, of course, we offer the premium Discord, um, and just by seven up, you actually or get a seven-day free trial. So that way you can get in, see what it's about, make sure it's going to be beneficial for you. Um, let's take a quick sneak peek inside. Um, <clears throat> so we actually have... Um, uh, freedom, which is actually a, uh, he focuses more in the traditional markets. He's actually doing a hundred dollar challenge right now, meaning that he started his account with a hundred dollars in it about a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago. And he's got that bad boy up to 900 and sharing all of his plays and his calls, um, you know, right here in this channel as well. Uh, we also have the crypto signals as well. So if you're looking, um, you know, a great example is some scalps here. So we actually got some juicy calls with Bitcoin at 57, um, 228, um, taking profit 57, 700, um, 57, yeah, 57, 700. Flip to a short at 58,000, take profit 57, 870, um, take profit 57, 488. I mean, you name it. Um, ETH, oops, um, ETH, same thing. Um, you know, between, you know, flipping long, 34.98, um, take profit 35.25, 35.59, so on and so forth. Um, and if you don't believe me, don't take my word for it. Um, you know, we got definitely members in here making money. Um, you know, Guardian, he's up 8K um, in just a couple months from the signals in here. Um, which is all good, to, all good to hear. And then we also have, um, let's see. Let's see what we got in here. I know um, MD Chow is actually he's uh, he's making some money on his too. So yep, there we go. Doubled his account in the last thirteen days. There's the proof right there. So don't take my word for it. Come in and join us. We have the free chat room where you can get in and chat with ourselves, um, with everyone that's in there, as well as the premium channels um, to get the signals and to uh, interact and see my technical analysis and stuff as well. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and dive into the charts. Right, guys it is blockchain coming at you with another technical analysis update lots of action going on in the market so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna start off on some ETH here and a um, couple things that I'm looking at overall in regards to the uh, the, the current dump um, you know really across the market um, and you know it's pretty interesting to see ETH holding a lot of support um, as well as some other ones holding support and some other ones hitting some all-time highs and um, then you gotta look at Bitcoin's you know dropping in some new lows so um, pretty interesting stuff across the board here um, so we're going to dive into ETH overall. I'm looking at this, um, whole move right here as a flat correction, um, uh, for a th fourth wave inside of the fifth wave. Um, or I'm sorry. Yeah. A fourth wave. Um, and then getting ready to go up again for a fifth wave. And I'm on the one hour chart here. Um, and a couple things I want to point out. So for a, um, a newer high, um, I'm going to start looking at 48 and almost 57 um, as a target for a fifth wave up um, and I'm actually really excited about the, the you know the dump um, <laughs> across the board um, because I think you know there's still a high potential uh, for a bullish run um, you know across the board so I think it's just all kind of a, a correction and um, there is a lot of support levels still being held and a lot of buy ups on the dump as well um, so uh, what I really love for ETH is it is holding the really the $3,500 level. Uh, you know, we were hitting our head on it a lot over here um, in regards to just trying to break it, finally broke it, 
uh, tested a little bit and now overall, you know, testing again. Um, but, you know, what we like to see in regards to these fourth ways is, is having these indicators completely reset. You can kind of see that even though it's been moving down, um, the RSI has just been bouncing around inside of the bearish control zone here. So would really like to see ETH break out of the bearish control zone, establishes support, and then start to take off. Um, you know, we can dip down to really 3,300 um, as, you know, an, an area of um, interest. Um, so kind of just laddering in some positions. And then I'd say, you know, for ETH, a pretty easy break of this trend line um, would be, you know, my indication to, you know, really jump in if I'm not yet already, which, you know, I've been holding a position, um, you know, from way back yonder down at about 2,600 bucks or so, which you know, I'm still in it. Um, I, I plan on adding to it as we continue to kind of go through this move here. So overall, just kind of looking at this as a, as an ending C, uh, C wave of this ABC correction. Um, in regards to the FIB levels for where we're at, um, I don't want it to dip a whole lot farther. However, it is crypto and things do get overextended. Um, so you can see we're sitting right at the 1.382. 1.618 is at 34. So we might get another little dip down 3,400-ish before we start taking off. Uh, but definitely getting some, in some consolidation here. But I would be looking for a move up. Um, if we get below the 3,300, that's where I'd start to have some concern. Uh, because then, you know, that's a pretty, um, it's a hefty, you know, support that I don't want to lose on ETH. So um, I think there's still opportunity for the for the bulls to step in and, and protect it. But, um, you know, there's always the, the invalidation points and the bearish scenario on both sides. Um, let's take a quick look at Riot. Um, so Riot, I'm actually looking at a couple of different aspects. Um, and again, kind of um, where we are currently is where I don't want to go any lower um, in, in regards to Riot. So overall, I'm looking at this as a WXY, you know, a 333 um, for a correction. Uh, again, overall for the fourth wave, um, we did tag the 1.618 to the T, which was at 80 bucks. Um, and I was looking for the 0.236, which was at 24. We are we're a little bit below it, um, and that's okay. Um, but I, you know, I don't really want to go a whole lot further. It's you know, they're not hard, hard trend lines for these fib levels. Um, so I don't want to go a whole lot lower than it. Um, you know, the 382 is the next one, which is at 11 bucks. Um, and you know, not super, super excited about it. Um, if you look at the daily perspective here on Riot. Um, you can see that it is very, very oversold. Um, and, you know, for even from the last low, uh, which was the wave two, um, you know, we have some pretty significant bullish divergence on the daily. Um, so I'm really expecting a pretty large pop uh, for it to go up. Um, you know, I've been kind of laddering a few positions as it's been uh, continuing to dip down. And I think there's just a couple different aspects that have been driving the price down. One of them is obviously um, Elon Musk's tweet, um, or I guess his announcement saying that um, Tesla's no longer going to be taking Bitcoin, um, as well as just the overall difficulty of mining and the environmental impact that's been going through the news. So I think there's just a lot of uh, negative I guess, news coming out in regards to it. So um, people are kind of just pulling out some money. However, um, I think, it, you know, this is a mining company. And, and at the end of the day, it all comes back to profitability. I know they have earnings coming up. Um, I want to say it's on the 17th. I want to say... Um, yeah, May 17th. So that's the next earnings date they have coming out. Um, but I am honestly expecting a move to get up to at least $300, which is about a 1,200% gain from where we are currently. So um, long haul, not going to be a short flip, um, but I think it's got huge potential to the upside. Um, and, you know, that would somewhat equate to Bitcoin having a large run as well uh, because it's, um, again, you know, they mine crypto so um we will see we will definitely see um but that's what i'm looking for on right um let's take a quick look at the doge so a lot of information on doge as well let me get out of the daily daily is a bit of a mess um let me get back up there all right so 
Of course, we have a nice little pamp action coming in on Doge uh, for Elon Musk's tweet saying that he's currently working with Doge developers. Um, I, I think that um, if it is announced that Tesla will accept Dogecoin, um, I think it'll be pretty significant um, and have a been spark enough for an upside rally. Uh, similar to kind of what I was looking at for ETH in regards to this move down. Um, I'm really looking at this overall. Is, you know, This can be a five-wave move uh, to finish off a impulsive move up um, and then having this as a really an A, this is a B, and then having this coming down as a C. Uh, but similar to what you know ETH has, they have that has that downward trend line and clear some of this stuff off. Um, you know, similar thing could be played with Doge here. Where we did just break it. So we had, you know, a couple points where we have tested it. Um, and we did just break it. So um, we are right underneath the pivot, which is at 50 cents. Um, you know, it's been a high level of interest for Doge, you know, holding that 50 cent mark. Um, so, you know, we need to get back over that and establish the support. However, you know, starting to look at this from an hourly, hourly perspective, we did just get across of our RSI on our EMAs broke out of the volume band, which is all bullish signs. Um, as long as there isn't a hard rejection here at the 50 cent mark, um, you know, all looks good to really continue on to the north, um, and potentially set them to new highs and maybe look at a dollar, um, you know, so we'll see. Um, you know, what we also have here with Doge is similar to also what we're looking at with ETH. This was a little bit of a harder correction than ETH um, and potentially a wave four, but that happens all the time um, in regards to a fourth wave where we have a wave one and really wave three just builds a parallel channel as it moves up um, and the fourth wave drops out of it and then we kind of build another one um, where we keep these, you know, the bottom trend line is now the top trend line. Um, as it goes through and you know still sets up new highs um, so it's pretty common for a fifth wave to look like that um, it's pretty common for that type of action to occur um, so we will definitely be paying attention to it and i'll be looking at that one pretty close as well um, in regards to the good old mr bitcoin here um, you know pretty massive dump and the trend line here is you know whenever we lost this trend line it was um, a big one that i was watching in the discord um and that really if you i was really looking forward to hold honestly um you know i was looking at this to you know be our wave one a wave two and then continue on to the north side um obviously didn't get that and i think the negative news you know definitely helped uh spur more of a dump to the bottom um and set them some a new low um, however, on the flip side, you know, there's been a pretty significant buy up in regards to the bulls just trying to protect it. Um, and I think this was an overextended third. Uh, we're having a fifth wave diagonal. So we might get back down and retest 46.6. Um, and that here is the weekly support. I'll put a tag back on it because it's another area that we want to watch if we're dipping lower. Um, but we did get rejected here at 49.8. Um, so we'll see what that turns into, which is also right underneath the volume band. We want to break out of the volume band and then establish that as support, just like we did, um, you know, back here, even though it did result to a larger move to the downside. But in regards to a, um, a bullish move, we want to break out of these bearish areas uh, to in order to continue on uh, the upside. Uh, but we are also printing some bearish divergence on these pieces on the hourly. So we might need to come back down. Um, have another reset 46 potentially 42 um, you know I'm looking at you know another potential low uh, for Bitcoin here before we ultimately take off um, and again looking for a pretty decent bounce so um, all areas of interest and I know institutions are buying the low um, and that usually results into a, a nice little bullish continuation um, for the move up so um that is it so just a quick update quick video um hopefully i'll catch you guys in the discord and uh wherever you're out in the world good evening good afternoon good night um i'll catch you guys on the next video and uh cheers to buying the dip